Hi guys, so I'm back. Um, I know so many, so much scarring. I've been seeing a dermatologist and I haven't got any new pimples, so fingers crossed that it's working. Um, you never know, I might wake up tomorrow and have like a million pimples, who knows? But for now, I'm really happy with the results. I mean, it could be a lot worse. I'm really, I've been really doing this just to like kind of feel more comfortable in my own skin and cover up some of, a lot of the acne, but I don't like it when I look cake face and I don't like it when I look too done up. So it's really like, about making the skin look healthy and not dry because I do have a few dry patches here and there because of my acne medication and it covering up the scarring <laughs> predominantly. So if that's something you guys are interested in, keep watching. So I decided to go with a voiceover, so let's start. I started with the Josie Marin uh, Argon Finishing Balm. All the info will be down below. Um, I've been really loving this. It's a product that you can use as a primer. You can use on top of your makeup. It smooths out pores. I generally just take a little and rub it between my hands and press it into my skin like I'm doing here. And I really like the glow that it gives, the smoothness that it gives and how it just keeps my skin um, hydrated but doesn't make me oily because I'm usually really oily in the t-zone section and it doesn't seem to do that so if you guys watch my channel you know I love the Bobbi Brown corrector in dark peach I'm just gonna place it in the areas that have the most darkness and I'm gonna try to stay away from my lash line just because I feel like the more closer you go to your lash line the more um, more cakey it tends to look and the less natural. I'm going to blend it in. You're going to see here, I should have not put any product on the other side, but do you see how much better it looks? It looks so much better to me. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to blend this product out uh, everywhere that I've placed it, anywhere that I have real darkness. I think my face already looks a lot better after I got rid of those dark circles there. Um, so next, uh, for me this is really exciting because I finally found a concealer that I love and this is uh, the Luminous, Aqua Luminous by Becca in Warm Honey. Um, and I really like this. It's so natural and it kind of gives you a lit within kind of glow. Um, I chose my shade based on my skin tone. I don't like to go um, a shade higher or lower. If I do want to highlight, I tend to use uh, another product, which I'm not doing here. So I'm just going to blend this in with my Beauty Blender. I feel like your Beauty Blender tends to give the best um, finish. Um, with this product and you'll just see it looks so natural on my skin and so flawless. I'm in love with this concealer. I wish that I had tried it before. So the great thing about getting a concealer is the same color as your skin is like you can use it to cover up hyperpigmentation or any sort of marks you may have. So that's what I'm doing here just to give myself a little added like boost and get rid of that scarring and just keep in mind if you want to go really light on the foundation or whatever product you're using you may not get like full coverage and that's basically my aim. I don't mind if a little bit of my skin peeks through because I want this to look natural and not like a full face of makeup like I'm not going anywhere I'm only like running errands and stuff you know what I mean? So I'm just going to blend that in and I don't think it looks that bad obviously. Um, it's not perfect but I really think it looks really natural and really um, healthy looking and not dry or cakey. It just really blends into the skin really well. I'm in love with this concealer. So next I'm going to set my under eyes with the Hourglass Radiant Light. I've been really liking this with the Petaliums Tool Brush. It gives you a very like luminous lit glow from within kind of thing and I'm all about that lit from within so I've been liking that and I just 
use this in my um, under eye area and around my nose. I used to set my under eyes with the Laura Mercier powder, um, the translucent powder, but I was finding that it's too dry for my skin right now with all the acne treatments that I'm using. So now I'm gonna set my whole face with this new powder. It's by Josie Marin. Uh, it's not new, but it's new to me. Uh, it comes with these little white flecks in it, which are called um, matchmaker pigments, which kind of change the tone of the powder to your skin tone. Also, this powder is infused with argan oil, so it's said to keep the areas that you want hydrated, hydrated, and the areas that you want to keep matte, matte. So I've been liking this. It's not my number one powder or anything, but it's what I'm using for right now, and it's not so bad. And just so you guys know, I think this powder is being discontinued because on the Sephora website where I found it, it, there's actually no other colors but this. So now that my skin's like basically one tone, I'm going to take this Laura Mercier Baked Bronzer in number four. This is the darkest color they have, which sucks. And I'm just going to do this like little kind of three sign on my face just to give my face some more color and it's not so one-dimensional. I wish I had more options for bronzers but uh, they're not a lot of bronzers for my skin tone or darker. Limited options here. Hi guys! So I'm back. Um, I know it's been a really, really long time. I just haven't been really inspired to um, post anything. So I'm sorry that I haven't been like constantly uploading videos. Um, but I lately I've been feeling a little bit better about my skin since it's like broken out severely. Like it was pretty bad. So I thought this would be a great way to show you my like everyday routine that so the way that I cover up all my acne scarring and stuff. So I just wanted to say a quick thank you to all you guys who continue to subscribe to my channel even though I haven't been posting that often. Please stick with me. I'm gonna get back into it. I am. I've planned a few more videos to come. So thanks again and thanks to all my new subscribers. Take care guys. Bye. So on a daily, I really don't like to do my eyebrows, but I do want them to look structured. So I've been using the Anastasia Brow Gel. It just gives um, a nice shape to my brows, and I also feel like I don't have that many sparse areas. So I just need to shape them and keep them in place. So that's what I've been doing, and I think the Brow Gel gives that really like um, shaggy, sort of done but undone kind of look for your brows, which I like for an everyday. So this blush is by Urban Decay. It's the Afterglow in the color of video. Uh, it's that nice, soft, peachy pink color that's kind of barely there, which I love for an everyday basis. And I just kind of stick to blush on the apples of my cheeks because my face is so round. I don't want to take the blush too far out because then it makes my face even more wider. If you guys want to see more uh, in-depth swatches of any or most of these products, especially the blush here, that's available on my Instagram, uh, which is Green Eyed Ambition uh, on Instagram, so check it out. So this is the Becca Champagne Pop Highlighter, but mine like broke up, which is great, I think, in a sense, because it allows me to get the least amount of product, like a dusting of highlight rather than that intense glow that you get from the Becca highlighters. So it worked out, it's messy, but I really like how it just gives me that little bit of extra oomph when it comes to highlighter for every day. So I'm just taking a beauty blender and kind of blending all the areas where I put highlighter in just so everything meshes all the products together kind of. So last 
but not least is the lip color. It is the Bare Minerals um, Gen Nude collection and is in the color Scandal. I really try not to put a lot of product on because I still want this to be natural and I don't want it to look like my lips are like hardcore matte. I want them to look um, nice and natural. So the way I've achieved that is I basically line my lips with the lip product itself with a lip pencil and it's been working out great it looks really natural and I really like this color it's really pretty anyways guys thanks so much for checking out my video